Hey guys, Bob from Gill Skills here. Today, we're going to take apart a microwave and see all the inner nougat inside. So stay tuned! Alright guys, let's get started on tearing down this microwave. First, we're going to go ahead and remove some Phillips head screws. It looks like this microwave has those star screws with the bulges in the center holding the cover in. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those bits, so we're going to have to pry it off rather crude way of doing it, but it does get the job done. I do plan on getting those bits eventually in the future. And there's the heart of the microwave itself. I know this is a small microwave, but I was awful surprised to see just how little was in it. You've got the magnetron, a couple of copper bearing motors, and you've got the giant transformer at the bottom, and what looks like a capacitor as well. So first things first, we're going to remove all the loose wire. Next, we're going to remove that giant transformer on the bottom. Most of them are usually held in by nuts and bolts. This one's only held in by screws, so we'll take those out. For some reason, the screws would not budge. So, what I did was I hammered on the screwdriver a few times to free up the thin layer of rust between the screw and the chassis of the microwave. There's a giant transformer like this in every microwave. Sometimes it's a gamble when you take them out. Sometimes they can be all copper. Sometimes they can be one piece copper, one piece aluminum. Sometimes they can all be aluminum. So to check, what I do is I just scrape a little bit of each side to see. If it's copper colored, once I scrape it, we know it's copper. And that side is copper. So now to scrape the other side. And we lucked out, because this side is copper too. Now I'm going after the second largest copper bearing motor in the microwave. There's one more copper bearing motor inside where the dials are. So I'm going for that now. And as luck would have it, it's the hardest one to get to. Once all the components are removed from the microwave, the scrap yards will take the chassis itself as light iron. Have you ever had a friend or a family member give you a gift and then when you go to open it, there's a box and then when you open it again, there's a smaller box, then a smaller box, then a smaller box 
and then even a smaller box after that. Well, that's what this copper bearing motor felt like when I was trying to retrieve it. There's two other items in the microwave that I'll be removing in just a moment. One is the magnetron and the other is a capacitor. The magnetron has some brass in it. Uh, you could take it apart and try to separate the brass. In my personal experience, I feel that it's not really worth it, so I throw it in my light iron pile. Yep, that round little thing there is what I was after. So now, out comes the Magnetron. The Magnetron, in case anybody didn't know, is what creates the microwaves inside the oven that heats your food. And here's everything that came out of the microwave. It doesn't look like much, but here's the magnetron, the transformer with both bricks being copper, we lucked out there, two copper bearing motors, some loose wire, and a capacitor. Oh, I forgot to mention the power cord, which I cut off earlier. That's it guys taking a microwave apart from start to finish. There wasn't a whole lot of copper in it, but then again, it was a small microwave. And you're probably asking yourself, is it worth scrapping for that little bit of copper? I say, heck yes, because that's more copper that you have now versus not having if you just simply threw the microwave away. Plus the job only took 10 minutes of my time. So of course you be the judge, but to me, it's always worth scrapping an object if there's copper in it versus not scrapping it at all. I hope you enjoyed my video, folks. It's always a pleasure making them for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really want to hear from you. I want to hear what you have to say, what you'd like to see on my channel, what you'd like to see different. Uh, let's hear your voice so I can uh, tailor my program uh, and make it even better for you. Anyway, folks, have a great day and uh, make it a great one.